Ellsworth Cemetery is unique because it is a historically African-American cemetery that was founded by seven prominent members of the black community here in Carroll County right around the time of the end of the Civil War. Born out of need, the cemetery's researcher, Diane Betcher, says the historical record shows 95 percent of the cemeteries in the United States up until the 1960s were racially segregated. Over the years, Ellsworth Cemetery has been vandalized and poorly maintained. Carroll County Commissioner Tom Gordon went to the Westminster City Council with a proposal to annex the property. I said, wouldn't it be amazing if we could get some additional assistance for the cemetery? And one of the big issues was that the cemetery was not within city limits when it came to grant funding and so forth. So from there, we, I reached out and I'd asked one evening at the city council meeting if Westminster would consider this. On Monday night, the city of Westminster officially annexed uh, the Ellsworth Cemetery into its city limits. It makes them more eligible. Uh, for more grants uh, and other funding opportunities, but also um, they fall under the city's protection as well um, and purview and will be able to access the, um, the utilities and the services that the city provides. Betcher says that's important to preserve the rich history here. There are 26 veterans buried on the grounds all the way from the Civil War to World War II, and there are 17 Civil War veterans which is one of the reasons why the annexation of Ellsworth Cemetery by the city is so important so that we can be part of the heritage area and continue to tell the story of these uh, men who joined the U.S. Army at a time when they weren't allowed to be citizens, they weren't allowed to vote, and some of them were enslaved at the time of their enlistment. Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.